Maker J here. I uh, thought I would just do a quick video. I had a request yesterday in regards to converting an STL file into a STP or step file. Um, I'm going to do it using Fusion. Uh, makes it pretty easy. Uh, it's kind of incorporating a couple of videos I've, I've done already. So open up Fusion uh, and then we want to import our STL. So file open uh, and we want STL. Now this is a bit of a complex STL. It's uh, actually two separate bodies together, um, and we can't convert this mesh. So see, it's currently pink. It's currently in a mesh. If we were to export this now as a step, the step would just be empty. There would be nothing in it. Um, it needs uh, bodies to be able to do that. So using that video I've done before, we want to turn off our design history. So right click up here. Um, Currently, it's already turned off for me, so it says capture design history. It will say do not capture design history if it's on. Turn that off. Uh, right click on your body. Right click on your body. And then mesh to a B rep. So mesh to boundary representation. Creating a new body. Yes, now this is saying that it's quite a complex shape, especially because of these circles in the middle. There's lots of faces. Um, it doesn't recommend converting. It just means that it might potentially um, crash your computer. So. I'll do it anyway. Cool, sorry, I was just pause that while it processed. Um, so now we have the gray shape. We can individually select uh, vertices and faces and things, um, which implies that it's now a body. Um, if you really wanted to go an extra step, uh, you could take it into Blender or you could even do it in Fusion. Um, before you convert it, you can remesh it or reduce the mesh. Uh, that's probably more accurate actually, um, reduce the mesh so that reduces the amount of faces, but you will potentially lose some of the um, precision and uh, uh, the resolution and design. So if you can handle it without doing that, that's good. So now we have the gray body, we can actually export it. So uh, file at the top, export, uh, select the file you want to export it as. So step file, STP, STEP, and we export that. And so take a second. Now, the reason we do this, um, there's a few different reasons, uh, just mostly just because certain programs, um, certain computational sort of analysis programs, force analysis programs, um, I believe maybe CNC machines need to have step files. Uh, the main thing is like patients, uh, <laughs> factories um, that want to manufacture the piece for you will request a step file. Um, I'm doing this, even though they're two separate bodies, I'm doing it in a single step file and I'll show you that once it's done. Um, you could take it into Blender and separate the two parts, save them both as two separate STLs, import the first one, export that as a step, import the second one, export that as a step. Um, if you want the two separate parts, um, but I've been requested to do this as one single step file because they want to try and manufacture it in one single go. Hopefully this will be done soon. Alrighty, there we go. So you'll get this little thing up the top right. Export of file name is ready. Um, you can show it in your file explorer. And what I'm actually going to do now is just close this, save it. I'm going to open that step file. Now, if we did this, if we opened the step file, if we exported it when it was in, in mesh form and not in body form, uh, and then we would now import the step file, the file would just be empty. You just have a file with no bodies in it. Um, but this one actually has two separate bodies because they're two separate parts, which um, is really handy as well. So even though it's a single step file, it actually has two separate bodies. So that's really good. There we go. And they're still bodies, so we can still edit them as if they were just normal of bodies and there we go so that's how you convert an stl over to a step file in fusion thanks guys so please like and subscribe if you are interested in this sort of stuff and please leave a comment with any requests um, that's how i sort of come up with these ideas so appreciate it